Welcome back to Morning Trade Live. Let's talk about software and tracking and new businesses. Live 360 listing at the NASDAQ today. IPO pricing about 27 bucks. And the Chief Financial Officer, Russell Burke, joins us to talk about the business and the model and the plans going forward. Russell, thanks a lot for being here on the Schwab Network. Good morning, Oliver. It's, uh, it's great to be here with you. It's Appreciate a big that. Day for Live 360. Yeah, and uh, congratulations to you guys. Uh, we can't tell, but I know you're at the NASDAQ there in a, uh, in a room. So uh, congrats on the debut. Uh, tell us about the offering first. I saw that the pricing was about 27 bucks. I don't see anything trading just yet. Take me through the financials of the offering. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll be uh, tr trading in a little while this morning. Um, the unique thing about Live360 is we're already a, a public company. We've been listed on the Australian Stock Exchange for about five years. Uh, but this is, our, this is our natural home in the US and uh, we're really excited to be listing on NASDAQ today. Uh, we'll be dual listed. Um, as you said, the, the, uh, the, the initial price is $27 and uh, that, that is uh, based really on the, on the last trade in, in Australia. But uh, we're excited to see what it does, does from here. A uh, total of just shy of 6 million shares being offered, is that right? That's that, that, that's that's right, Incl including green shoe, which is it, it's uh, it, it's around about five to six percent. OK, so what, why the listing here in the U.S.? I mean, you've got headquarters in San Francisco. Why the timing? Why the pricing? Take me through the decision. Sure. Yeah, the, the, the first thing is we are, at, to your point, we're a San Francisco-based company. Uh, we're very much a U.S. company. We're uh, evolved. Um, we're, we're, we're actually 16, 17 years old at this point, uh, been, been through through quite a bit. But um, we, we're all, almost all of our employees are in the U.S., a substantial part of our, uh, our revenues are in the U.S., or, although we're just starting to expand internationally. And uh, this is really the, the, the natural home for us. So uh, it was the right time five years ago for us to list on the ASX, and it's the right time now for us to move to, to a U.S. listing, and we'll stay dual listed for, a, for a, at least a period of time. Okay, let's talk about the business and the model. It's super interesting, and it um, uh, seems like it's all about kind of transparency, even the way you guys, the, the service of tracking and families being able to connect, know where each other are, and uh, there's transparency to that. And then just kind of looking at the product and the way you guys present the business, too, there's a lot of transparency. Just when you go to the site, it's all there in front of you. How is it doing? Is it mostly a family-driven product, parents and kids? It, uh, up to this point, it, it has been, and uh, as you say, uh, you know, the the safety and security for our members is really what we're all about. And we've built that trust over a long period of time, um, and, and and that means that works both ways. So our, our members are, are very very happy with, uh, with 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 sharing their their location data, um, and what that's built around a family circle. Um, and as we as we expand, it's not just your normal family. It can be uh, fam friends who look like family. Uh, and w we are definitely expanding those uh, age ranges. We're expanding into new demographics. Um, and as we as we look forward, we, we acquired Tile a couple of years ago. Uh, we're we're now looking at people, pets, and things in terms of just being aware of where they are. Now, is it, uh, I know there's like a few hardware devices, but is the product um, and the revenue stream coming from the software? I know you've got different tiers. What are those uh, tiers? And take me through kind of the different revenue generations that you're getting for the company. Sure. I mean, we, we are a, a subscription revenue company. That's the, the, that's how the model is based. It's a freemium model mm -hmm. uh, where we have a, a, a now 66 million plus uh, you, you members globally. So uh, we, we've built that up over a long period of time. Um, and that translates to uh, 1.9 million cir paying circles globally. Um, and we, we have three tiers of product in, in the US um, and that's that enables that includes uh, location tracking, driving tools, things like roadside assistance and emergency assistance, uh, phone insurance, 
uh, a, a whole range of, of products that are really designed to uh, enhance family safety and security. Uh, but it, it's really about connectivity. And as I say, we're expanding beyond just the, the regular family as well. Uh, is there uh, IP? Is there how much protection is there from just the idea of being able to have phone tracking if one of the major providers kind of wanted or if another app kind of wanted to uh, replicate some of this? Um, how do you fend off competition? Yeah, no, we've, we've uh, c certainly with um, companies that, that would like to do what, what we're, we're doing, uh, the fact that we've built 66 million really happy members gives, gives us a very competitive uh, a moat against competition. Um, so uh, that's, that, that's that piece. Uh, and, and then when we look at the, the major players, um, some of them are doing some of the things that, we're, that we do, uh, but we haven't seen anyone really interested in, in doing what we're doing, which is really build around the family where we're creating this digital hub for, for families using innovative technology, um, and, and no one else has really have, has the motivation to do that. Okay. Uh, what's kind of funny, and uh, I asked this a little bit tongue-in-cheek, but also uh, seriously, too, because there's AI and there's really clever kids. When you search Life360, like one of the top results is how to fake your location on Life360. Uh, how do you prevent people from getting around it uh, if kids want to, you know, get out of the get out of the picture. You, you know, Oliver, we, we, we don't want to prevent that. Um, you know, what, what we're building is a product for the family. And we, we feel like um, the location sharing aspects of what we do uh, really engender a, a conversation within the family. So uh, we're, we're, we're not about uh, policing kids or anything. We're about giving, giving kids the freedom to move around, uh, but get, at the same time, having their family uh, feel feel good about knowing where they are. Okay, uh, fair, good answer. Uh, Russell, the, the financials, as you mentioned, you got 66 million roughly global active users. Your revenue has been uh, increasing 33%, subscriptions of 44%. So the uh, the money and the from the share offering here, what do you want to do with that? Where does that go? Do you just need to get your name out there more? Is it marketing or what is it? It's partly uh, you're making sure we have uh, liquidity on uh, for our U.S. listing, uh, but but the funds will really be about just helping us continue to drive that really strong growth that we've seen, um, and 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 uh, that's that's where we'll we'll look to to invest it. Okay, uh, growth versus profitability. Last point, Russell. What does that look like in terms of priority for you? Uh, we, we, we are doing both, which is uh, perhaps a little unusual. Uh, we made a, a little bit of a pivot about 18 months ago and uh, had a, a stronger focus on profitability. And we've just delivered our sixth consecutive quarter of positive EBITDA. Um, and we're really on a, a very, uh, very defined trajectory to, uh, to reach uh, positive EBITDA margins, and uh, as we've said, where we have a goal to get to 25% EBITDA margins, at the same time as providing uh, fuel for to, to grow at the top line. So we, we have been uh, doing both, and we're, we've continued to do that just with our Q1 results. All right, great stuff. Uh, we'll be following along, and appreciate the chat. Russell, be in touch. Great to talk to you, Oliver. Thank you. Thank you very much. Congrats again, Russell Berg, CFO at Live360. Love a business with transparency. You go to the site, you know what you got, you know how much it costs, and also the transparency of the conversation.